Hi, I'm Steven Anderson. I'm an artist here in Atlanta, and I focus on nature. I try to express that through um, drawing and painting and sometimes video. I'm interested in energy and how that reflects itself in, in nature, in uh, magic, in psychedelics, political and social systems. I find it really fascinating to see how uh, plants, for instance, sort of have a structure that in some sense it, it depends on the environment it's in to create strategies for um, replicating itself. I mean, if you get down to the DNA level. Um, but I'm also interested in, in finding metaphors from that in an oblique way, like how can we as artists, as activists, sort of like take those strategies and apply them to you know our situations. The tree rings kind of capture a whole lot of those uh, different notions. Like, sure, there's the meditative um, part of me just drawing circles, and you know I hope that viewers can kind of get that as they're getting close and see that like here's just a bunch of lines, one on top of each, you know right next to each other. You know, uh, a lot of like national forests have these big um, pieces of giant trees and they'll map out like, you know, here's, here's when Christ was born, here's when Christopher Columbus discovered America, here's when blah, 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 blah. And they put pins in it and stuff. So you can really get an, a sense of like how, you know, the, the sense of history uh, recorded. And I'm hoping that, that people will apply that. Like, so, okay, where would your life fit in on this ring? Like. It's a pretty small band compared to like one of these giant trees. And what I'd like to do is work on a drawing that's a tree ring that's like thousands and thousands of years and just see how big I can make it. I mean, that could take a really long time for me to make too. Well, over the years, I've just amassed a, a, a whole lot of uh, markers and pens. It's sort of my main uh, medium for, for my uh, uh, tree rings works. I'm trying to be organized with trays and things, and so I've sorted them out into you know different colors and different uh, alcohol based or uh, watercolor based or um, uh, acrylic based markers um, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll grab a, a handful of different colors and start with that and when I and then I'll start just sort of making a palette basically and so because uh, there's so many to, to remember I'll just like just write it down and you can and this is a good way for me also to test you know my paper to see how the ink um, stays on the top or, or sinks in so basically I get a you know sort of like a, a nice long color palette list of all the things I'm using in each piece and this helps as, as a reference while I'm making it also if I need to do touch-ups later I can come back and look at this and it just is a nice record of the the making of, of the piece there was a commission that I did for someone in California recently and he wanted to, me to, to like tape this on the back so he could you know see it and show it to people as sort of like my process. It's funny I have uh, I have a little list of uh, of all the steps that I take in this, and there's only one step that's the most creative part. This is draw, and the other parts are like varnish, collage, do all these other things. Um, but I don't jump around as, as much on these pieces as as I have on other bodies work. Mm-hmm.